Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll continue with the InfoPath training. We already showed how to publish to a SharePoint library. We're going to show today how to publish via email. Uh, not used a lot, but in small orga organizations that do not afford or they don't want to invest in a SharePoint server, this would be the best option. right? So we have the form that we created, hard request form. You go to file, publish, email, and you set up a name for the form. Uh, you should not use any acronyms because this is what the user will see. So it should be something that it's meaningful to the user and the user understands uh, right away from the name of the form what is requested of him or her. So next, uh, you can add here elements, fields from the form that you want to use later. These fields that you add them right here, uh, they can be promoted as an active content and you can use them in Outlook. Uh, if you create a folder in Outlook for the forms, you can use them to sort the emails or the forms received by these fields or uh, when you export to Excel, you can actually use them in, in Outlook later, okay? I put the last name on the hardware requested. Next, publish. It's going to open up an email that you can use to send the form. Uh, of course, in, uh, in a real case, this would be this list user organization or whatever. I'm going to send it to me instead. Okay. And in introduction, you can write, uh, I don't know, please use this form to submit requests for for new hardware or, or whatever, right? You can actually write if you want a how to, uh, you know, just complete all the fields, please, and then click submit and so on and so forth, right? I'm gonna send it. Yes, I still wanna send. It gives me an error because remember we set up these fields to be, um, we, we set them out we, to, so they cannot be empty. Right, so the user cannot submit a form without completing all the fields. That's why we receive an error right now. But don't worry about it. When you submit it, it's going to, you're going to receive this error. But for the user, it's actually good. So they know that they haven't completed the field. Right. So let's open up Outlook. And where is it? Right here. There you have it. This is the form, right? So this is how the user is going to receive it. So if the user is going to open up the form, it's going to complete it. Let's say last name uh, Smith, John, email, organization.com, whatever, phone, department sales, and he's requesting a new scanner, right? Okay. Submit. Send. No, you don't want to save changes. So there you have it. You have right here the form that the user, which is me, submitted it, right? It's going to be hard to request form HRF as we set it up. Smith John right last name first name and the hardware requested right so this is this is how you, you you basically do it now to get the best out of it you should set up a folder in outlook like i did right here right set up you need to set up this folder this folder needs to be um infopath forms folder so it's a folder containing infopath form items this is very helpful to you because you can select all the forms export them to Excel or um, there are various actions that are um, available to you when you set up the folder this way and also set up a rule as I did over here I have a rule HRF hard request form so any message that arrives with HRF in the subject is going to be moved to the hard request form folder right so you don't have to worry about 
searching through the emails and see which ones are uh, forms submitted for uh, hardware requests. We're gonna have all of them right here. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the form, if you like the videos, and please visit our blog. Watermark at the bottom of the video. Thank you.